Test that. <laughs> did, did, you, did you get a... Uh, did, did, test this question. Did I just choose to be with Bart? Yes, I got a yes already. Okay. And is, was that choice curative? That choice curate. Yes. Yeah, choices are curative. And, of course, if you make a choice and then don't carry it out, it's not going to cure anything. <laughs> but yesterday, you cho chose to be in the movie and were. And, see, you're the kind of person, your choices work for you. They cure you. Because when you make a choice, you are going to do it. See, a lot of people, you know, they choose to do something and the next day they change their mind. Their choices do not cure anything the minute they make them. Their choices only cure the thing when they're actually doing the thing they chose to do. And they may have to do that thing for a long time <laughs> before the cure is complete. But in your case, since you're somebody who chooses and you take action, your choices cure you. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. That's right there. You know, it just happens. That's the way it happens. So this is what people need to learn about curing. Everybody needs to learn this because there are a lot of things. Everything on the list of immune dysfunctions is only curable by making choices. The only way to cure a condition, an immune dysfunction, or put in a missing function, or any of those hard things, the only way to come out of negative beingness is to behave as though you weren't there. Behave as though you didn't have it. You, you follow, you're following me, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? Since you just experienced uh. doing it and it worked for you. <laughs> yeah, I... I... Part of, part of what I, it's really kind of crystal clear for me in, in the avatar training was that the, I'm, I'm choosing everything and I can, I can choose things that are beneficial and I can choose things that aren't beneficial. I can, you know, choose to withdraw or I can choose to connect with you and it, it, I'm doing it. I'm doing all of it. Right. And, 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 yeah. and when I, when I cured my arm, that shoulder rotation, I chose to have a body that was healthy and flexible, and I wasn't even thinking about the shoulder, and then that just was a byproduct. Yeah, you simply rotated your arm. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed later, oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud of you for doing these things. Thank you. Yeah, I'm very proud of you for doing these things. You're a good person. Um, when, you, when you do the avatar training, do you have, ever have a chance to stand up and share and talk to the people at the training? Um, is, that, that, is it that kind of seminar? Or do they just talk no, at you? It, no, it, it's, it's more like we, we work in pairs or small groups. Right. So they tell you what to do and then you guys do it together. Well, I want to give you a, yeah. little, some, a little homework assignment, okay? When you do the avatar training in four days, uh -huh. <clears throat> do you see this? Yes. That is a bumper sticker. Yes. Put it on the back of the garment you're wearing. And wear it while you're in the training because the people in that avatar training do not know that they can cure the H1N1 swine flu virus in five minutes. And I will tell you how I know. I, I don't know that for a fact, but I would be willing to bet just about anything that if you stand up, if you were to stand up and say, everybody who knows that they can cure the H1N1 virus and is able to, and knows you're able to do so right now, just raise your hand, I bet very few hands would go up in that room. Who knows? <laughs> so, uh, well, I guess you're, you're going to find out because when you wear this, you will find people will come over and ask you, which will then give you the opportunity to say this question to any individual. Well, do you know you can 
kill the H1N1 virus in a minute or two. You don't have to get sick with swine flu, or your kids can, or your grandmother can. Do you know that people can do that? And then you'll, they'll tell you whether they know that or not. They'll answer your question. You can also ask the leaders to make an announcement about the cure drive so that people do know. And if they don't do that, then they're running their organization in, in an irresponsible manner. Because any responsible person tells everyone they possibly can that that, that is possible. Because we have people lining up for flu vaccines all over the world. And that's because they don't know they don't need them. You with me? Yeah, I just I have trouble imagining the, the leaders of the Avatar program being irresponsible. Well, they're probably not. I mean, you'll just, you know, I mean, I'll tell you what. Um, oh, what's her name? Kathy was doing a workshop with Stuart Wilde. And she actually did this. She put this on her, you know, her, I guess, whatever, she, whatever it was she was wearing, you know. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, Stuart Wilde uh, asked her to stand up and he said, tell everybody about that. So, you know, he had her make the announcement. So, he, he, I mean, most people who run these workshops are, in fact, pretty responsible. You know, they're, uh, you know, they're fine. <laughs> <clears throat> well then, um, so that's your homework, and uh, give me a buzz after the workshop. When is it, in four days? Yes. Well, I know you're going to be there, because you always do what you want. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you something else about, just before we go, I notice that you have a thing about the camera. Like, that's really what's going on there. You know, I'll test the question here. Like, uh, when, when I'm in front of a camera, do I become, let's say, less... Do symptoms turn on when I'm in front of a camera? Yes. Okay, <laughs> so, so what you want to do... Because when you're coaching people, you're not like that. You're masterful, you know, right? Am I right? Yeah. You're relaxed, you're masterful. You get in front of a camera and all of a sudden, boing, deer in the headlights, you know? So <laughs> I see that there's a, there's a few symptoms and we said we were going to stop now. We wanna, I, don't, I don't really like going more than half an hour. We went like 40 minutes. So I got enough movie here, okay? So, and you're, you're doing okay. great. But now you know, you, you just identified some symptoms right there. What do you do when you identify symptoms? When you know there are symptoms running, what do you do? Huh? Well, <laughs> remove them. <laughs> Don't remove the symptoms. Trace them. Oh. oh, right, okay. Trace them. Find the causes, okay? Yeah? Yeah? Another homework assignment. You going to do it? Okay. All right, sweetie. Okay, as I say, call me when you get back. All right. See you later. Great being with you, Bev. Thanks, you too. It's great being.